Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the 2020 Amazon Fire HD 8 tablet, which is running this custom version of Android called Fire OS. But in a previous video, I showed you that it's relatively easy to install the Google Play Store and treat it more like a traditional Android tablet. So this is Amazon's newest tablet, but it's not the most powerful. That would be the 2019 Fire HD 10, which actually has a bigger, higher resolution display, a faster processor, and more RAM at least than the entry level uh, eight inch version. Normally this version sells for about $150 and up, making it substantially pricier than the Fire HD 8, which sells for under 100 but on Amazon Prime Day, it's uh, been on sale for about $80 or $70 off the list price, which really makes it a pretty good value for the most powerful device in Amazon's lineup. So I wanted to pick one up and see if I could install Google Play just as easily, if not more easily, and uh, it seems like the instructions should be pretty simple. So uh, the first thing that you need to do is enable developer options from the settings menu. So you just open settings and you can also get there just by clicking the settings app on the front screen or from that pull down from the top. Scroll all the way down until you get to device options uh, about your tablet and then just tap the serial number a bunch of times until it says that you're a developer. Then you can go back one screen, click developer options and make sure that they're toggled on. They might not be at first and make sure that USB debugging is enabled. And then once you've done that, the next step is to uh, install an application from your computer. So you can see I've got uh, the comparison chart up here from Lilliputing, but what I really wanted to show you was another website, uh, the XDA Developers Forum, which has the Fire Toolbox, uh, version 9.0 is the latest version when I'm shooting this video, but it's a free application that you can download that includes a bunch of utilities for adjusting the settings on Fire tablets, on pretty much most Fire tablets, including uh, this 10 inch model that I have. So I've already downloaded and installed it. So what I'm gonna do is plug my tablet into the computer via a USB cable. Uh, I'm just using the cable that came with the tablet for charging and when I do that, you'll see that we get this little pop-up here. I'm going to block some of it so you don't see the security key there. And I'll click OK. Um, if you don't see that right away, that's fine. Uh, I've done that because I've already installed the drivers with the Fire Toolbox. But basically, if you've downloaded and installed Fire uh, Toolbox uh, and you don't see that right away, you can also just run it for the first time and it'll check and make sure that everything's okay. So this application lets you do a bunch of different things. It uh, allows you to back up and restore your tablet, it allows you to change the lock screen wallpaper, um, but the first thing that I want to show you really is installing the Google Play Store. So um, there's a section that says Google Services and you can read the instructions and click yes and it'll download and install the four applications necessary to install Google Play onto the tablet itself. Uh, there are a couple of risks involved with doing this. There's a chance that you might get a little bit of instability because the tablet really wasn't designed to run Google's App Store, and some applications might not work if there's hardware or software differences. Sometimes you might also wind up with applications that are available both in Google Play and the Amazon App Store, and so when updates are uh, available, your tablet might get confused and download the update from the wrong store. But basically the process I just went through, that's how you install Google Play. And now if I unlock the tablet, you'll see that we've got the Play Store down here in the bottom. Um, it does give you a message saying you might not want to log in right away. You want to give it a little bit of time for some things to update in the background. So I'll do that. I'll give it a little bit of time. But I just wanted to show you Google Play is installed. That's how quick and easy it is using Fire Toolbox uh, software. Now there's some other things that you can do as well. So for instance, you might have noticed that when I turn the tablet off and turn it back on again, actually this time it didn't do it, but normally I'll see an ad on the lock screen and that's because I uh, got the cheap option. Normally you can pay a little bit of extra money and Amazon will give you an ad free experience, but I got the version with ads. But if I go into the Fire Toolbox and choose the Manage Everything Amazon option, I can automatically disable all of the Amazon applications that come pre-installed. I don't want to do that because there's actually some that I find uh, useful. I, I plan to use the Kindle e-reader for an example. Um, but I'm going to manual and I'm going to check the box that says Amazon offers, disable selected, and now I'm going to turn the screen off, turn the screen back on, and instead of an ad we still see a lock screen but it's just this background. 
So that's how easy it is. You can also disable Amazon Music, uh, the Audible application, the uh, camera application. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. I suppose if you installed a third-party one. Um, all sorts of different things here. Even the Fire Launcher, which is this uh, user interface that is sort of the home screen app launcher. You could disable this, but you don't want to do that unless you've already installed a third-party one, presumably from the Google Play Store or somewhere else. Now, if you didn't want to jump through all these hoops, you could also just go back into developer options and choose the option that allows you to sideload applications, and then you could download them from some other trusted source. But using Google Play allows you to um, sync applications that you might be using on your phone, get automatic updates, and so forth. Uh, there's some other things that you can do in here. You can back up your entire system. So this is a pretty much a clean slate. I literally just got this tablet about an hour ago, uh, so there's not a lot to back up. But if I wanted to back it up, I could uh, use the system backup utility, create a backup, and it would store a backup on my computer, and then I could restore from that backup. So in this case, I could restore a practically unused tablet with almost no apps on it. Um, but yeah, so that's Fire. That's uh, the Fire Toolbox. You can find a link to the XDA Developers Forum, where you can download the latest version of Fire Toolbox in the description of this video, as well as to uh, lilliputing.com, where you can form, find more details about the Fire HD 10 and the Fire HD 8 and other tablets and how to make them a little bit more useful by installing Google Play or removing or installing other uh, apps and features.